Across the country, bridges crumbling, even collapsing. In Utah, the driver of this car could have been killed when this piece of a bridge smashed through his windshield. Another six or eight inches, he might not have been talking to me today. In fact, there are dangerous new cases from Florida to Georgia to Michigan. And tonight, this new report from a Road Builders Association showing just how bad it is. According to government data, 54,259 bridges deemed structurally deficient. Americans driving on them 174 million times a day. So many bridges in need of repair, if placed end to end, they'd stretch nearly the distance between New York City and Miami. It really comes down to a failure of leadership in Congress to address some of these issues and provide additional funding. Officials have been sounding the alarm for years. In 2016, I visited this bridge in Washington, D.C. Look at this right up here. This is the roadway and there's metal literally peeling right off of it. Look at this flange right here, paper thin. This is all that's left. This is what's holding up the this roadway. Is, this beam is holding the bridge up. And this bridge is on the list again this year. The repairs still haven't been made. This is the support for the entire bridge, just completely rusting away. Look at this, Jeff, completely gone. You can put your hand right yeah, through that. All of this, just rusting from the inside out. Late today, federal transportation officials telling NBC News this new report just underscores the need for investment in our nation's infrastructure. Jeff Rawson, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.